everybody, welcome back. Um, today I'm going to share with you um, a few things I picked up uh, yesterday at a little thrift store. And then I thought we would do a journaling page. A lot of people have shown interest in uh, getting started with journaling. And I just thought we'd just spend some time today going through and doing one page, maybe even two. I'll see how we get on. But to start with, yesterday we went out for um, a hike at a place called Moss Falls here in um, kind of central area, uh, Utah. And um, on the way up there, we spotted a little thrift store. They had labeled it a yard sale, but it was it was a small thrift store. And so I picked up a few things, and I thought you guys might be kind of interested. I thought this book cover was just gorgeous, and I want to... I'm trying to decide <clears throat> if I'm going to alter this book or if I'm just going to completely gut it and make a junk journal for myself out of it. I'm undecided, but I'll do, be doing something to save the, the cover because it's just so pretty. I think it'd be a beautiful journal. So I picked that up. <clears throat> These probably aren't as exciting to you, but I needed another little... Um, journal just to write, you know, grocery lists and so on. So I picked that up. I love strawberries. I thought the colors in this were really pretty. And this must have been coordinating with it. And I thought these would be nice when I send out some happy mail. Um, I needed some little note cards, so I thought those would be really useful. But this was <clears throat> the most exciting find at this particular place. And I'll start with these little envelopes. Um, there was just a bucket, like a um, plastic storage bin, full of envelopes. And you know I'm trying to accumulate some different sizes so that I can make some <clears throat> folios or journals with. So I spotted these, and as I started digging through, I became more and more excited. So this is a War Department envelope. There's nothing in it, but I just thought how cool is that and then this was obviously a hotel in Oklahoma City uh, their stationery I have not researched this one yet I don't even know if it's still uh, around but I will look that up but I love the colors of it um, and this is going to be awesome for a journal unless I find it's particularly rare. And again, look at this. Um, and it's got the stationery in here. How beautiful is that paper? So yeah, that was a really nice little find. And then, <clears throat> the more I dug, I grabbed everything I could find that had the stamps on them. Look at those stamps. They're in perfect condition. So I've got three of the Lincoln stamp, four cent Lincoln stamps. These I've never ever seen, guys. They're kind of an embossed postage stamp. I've never seen those before. Um, you know, not that I'm a stamp expert, but those were really interesting. So I've got seven of these. And then there's four of the Eagle embossed ones and look at the um I mean the the coloring is just fantastic and then of course it's got where it's to re be returned to and then this is look I'm missing another one this is a Washington five cent but look at that isn't that beautiful yeah, I'm missing another one here. This is the other one. I wanted to show you. Look at that one. Isn't that interesting? And then you've got all the different postage stamps on there. So, that was my amazing find yesterday. And I purchased all of this for $2. So, yow. <laughs> that was an awesome day. <laughs> okay, so let's just get started. Um, I'm going to work in my... Um, Kind of the artistic expression journal is what I've classified this at. 
um, if you haven't seen that video, I did a video on four top reasons that you should start to journal. And this is um, this is a journal that I just think is just for fun and to just be creative in. So we're going to work in this one today, and I don't know if we'll have time to do two spreads or not. I'm trying to um, make the spreads coordinate because I do think when you're flipping through it looks nicer if they're in the same color theme rather than this. I, I'm not happy, but I'm going to leave it just because I think it's all part of the learning. Okay, so let's get started here. <clears throat> I've got an old Daphne's Diary um, magazine. I love these magazines, but they are just crazy expensive. Um, I had subscribed to this when I was living in the UK so it made it much more affordable. And I only had a one-year subscription of it, but I did keep the magazines from that year, and this is going back to 2017. Um, but I just thought it would be fun to work with some of these images. Um, if you're not familiar with the Daphne's Diary magazine, I think Joann's sells it. They used to, I don't know. Um, but they are beautiful. You get all kinds of little, like, travel bits. You get some uh, recipes. It's just a really fun magazine. But as I said, in the U.S., they're very expensive. Like this, this is a project on how to make a sleep mask. But it's just beautifully uh, presented. So, um, yeah, if you haven't heard of that, you might want to check those out. So let's just start. I think these images here are are really pretty. So these are the colors that I want to work with. And I'm just going to um, just cut this out. So bear with me. Uh, I haven't planned this project, but I did have a flip through, and this was at the inspiration. Because I thought it would be nice just to have some really soft colors on this page. Because I've been working in some kind of grungy and darker images and I thought it would be nice to just switch it up a little bit and see what I can come up with. And I like to say these, she has a lot of the words um, in different fonts and those are fun to just cut out and use as well. And this is a very pretty image, so I'm going to cut this one out as well. And carrying over to this page. Oh, that's pretty. That's a very pretty image. And then I like the idea of using those flowers. Look at that bed. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, okay, well I'm just going to cut out <coughs> these flowers because I'm going to try to use these on it as well. That's the only problem with um, with cutting up these magazines. You're always worried that, that maybe you're destroying the other, pa the other side of the page, but um, that's what they're... A lot of people use these for, and then a lot of people just save them and flip through them because they are very interesting magazines. Okay, let me get this out of the way. And let's start to... start to create something. Um, I think I'll actually work on this page first. Um, this one get a little bit chunky. I'll come back to that another time. So I like the idea of doing something with both of these images. And I hope that you guys, that's okay for you to see. 
And then I think it would be nice to fussy cut these out and maybe use them down here some way. So I'm just going to go ahead and start working on... Let me get my other scissors real quick, guys. I'm going to get some of my stamps that I've purchased and use those as well today. So yeah, yesterday we went out um, and we were going to do a little hike at this falls, but to be honest, when we started down the trail, we soon realized that to get to the falls we were going to have to cross this, um, it was a pretty fast moving river, but it was, well, I would say it was a stream more than a river. And the only way you could cross it was on a fallen uh, tree. And I was just a bit too nervous to do that. Um, because uh, we had left Daisy in the truck. She just was so worn out. And I was just afraid that, that we might fall on, and get hurt on those rocks. Because the river was moving, or stream was moving pretty quick. So we just... We, we couldn't do the the hike that we wanted to do, but I have to say the drive itself was worth going up to. I picked some wildflowers that I was going to press, and unfortunately, by the time we got back home, it was an all-day journey. By the time we got back home, um, they had shriveled up to the point that I couldn't save them, so... Paul is talking about maybe making me another flower press here. I don't know if I ever showed you guys the flower press that he made me in the UK. It's so, so pretty. And I couldn't uh, bring it, so it's in the lockup. So I'm hoping that, uh, sorry about that, if, if he gets me one or... We were saying maybe I could just get a really thick book and keep in the truck with some parchment paper. And when I'm out, I'll just um, press things immediately. And then by the time I get home, you know, they'll be flattened out and I can just let them dry. Because I would imagine flowers will dry really quick out here. It's such a dry climate. So last night, of course, we had the winds again. And uh, it was so funny. We looked at the forecast, um, and they were predicting another snow at 1 o'clock in the morning. Of course, we didn't see it because we were asleep. But when I got up this morning, I was kind of expecting to wake up to um, the ground being covered in snow, but it didn't. So I don't know. It, it definitely um, snowed up in the mountains here because they were not. There was no snow on the, the ones nearby yesterday, but there, um, this morning, they got a good dusting last night, so it just must have missed us, but boy, we had the wind advisories until 9 o'clock again last night. Um, uh, yeah, it's starting to, to get old, i got to say. I hope it's not going to be like this the whole time we're out here. Um, we've found when you get in the wooded areas you're much more sheltered and I'm hoping that where we're going that's going to be the case oh I think this is going to be very pretty I need maybe something like that oh I like it I like it I like it and I've got some washi tape I thought it might be nice to get some of this going on, and I want to do a bit of stamping. So if I'm thinking that that's where I'm going to keep those, and I really do think that's pretty, I've got some postage stamps. I don't know if anything is going to match, but let's just have a look. Oh, that one will. That one will. That will be perfect, the color in that. It's very subtle. I picked these up off of uh, eBay. Mm, not really, probably. Oh, look at that one. That's a nice one. 
but I'll save that for a different one, I think. I like the really soft purple. Yeah, not really my colors, but I purchased these just for this reason, because this one and the Margaret Miller, because those often call for um, <clears throat> things that I wouldn't normally keep in my stash, so I'll use those. I'll definitely make use of them. I, I want to try to order some more at some point. So, okay, so back to what I'm thinking is it would be nice to have something really light here. And the stamps that I've got, I've got these. I mean, I kind of like the field label, but then I like the flower because I don't want anything to take away from those images. So I'm thinking I'm going to go with this one. That's a really pretty. And then I've got these, but I think those are a little bit too bold. So I'm going to stick with that one. And let me see. I wish I had a soft gray ink. But I don't. So that might be something I purchase down the road. Let me think. Yeah, let me just, um, I'm going to stamp this on some other paper to see if I feel like this is going to be the right color or not. Because if it's too dark, the other thing you can do that's very small. Mm, I don't know, maybe I need a little bit more than that going on. Yeah, actually, I think I won't use that one. I think I'll go with this, this one. Actually, there's the little bird one as well. That's pretty. Okay, let me just see. Let me get these out. <coughs> What I'm thinking I might do is have that one, and then I might come back with the bird one or something. That might be pretty. Okay, let's. I'm gonna go with that. I'm just gonna do it. So I'm gonna. I know I want it to be kind of in that area. I'm just going to lift that up. Okay, so I want to get some... I've got the washi. There it is. There it is. I want to get some of this going on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what's happened here? Okay. Okay, let's sit these over. <clears throat>
Okay, so that's coming together nice. So I think I'm ready to commit to putting that down. And then I think it might be kind of pretty to have the bird. move this over for a bit. So I'm just going to stamp I'm just going to stamp this bird one up here. And then I'll just cut him <clears throat> I mean, maybe even like on some dimensional tape or something. Okay. Yeah, I like that. So... Maybe pulling in a little bit of this um, paper bag. Okay, let me see. I'm not done with the stamps. I just want to, I think I want to get all this down now. Okay, so yeah, I like the way that looks because I think it needed a little bit more because you've got the brown around the frame and I think it just needed a little bit more. In fact, I wouldn't even mind putting it all the way across there. Let me just see. There's my little paper bag. <laughs> oh. Let's see if I can get a whole strip. Or so completely across there. I think that would be pretty. Just to kind of uh, break up all the white that's going on. Yeah, see, I, I, I think it needs that. And I'll save my little bitty pieces because those I've, I've actually used those quite a bit. It might be fun to put, where's my stamps here? I think some numbers would be nice up here. So I'm going to go with this, this one. Um, Okay guys, I'm running out of time, so I'm going to stop here and I will um, <clears throat> clear my SD card and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Uh, what we're going to do now is I want to get something on this. So I've decided on this little stamp. These are the Field Notes 
Tim Holtz stamps. I think that's going to look nice. And then just have our stamp here. I'm going to go ahead and put those numbers all the way down. Okay, I want to start getting this placed down now. So, I don't know. Do you want to go with something on here or not? I'm trying to see what else I've got that I could use. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stamp this one onto the long strip. But what I'm going to do is stamp the ink off first so that it... What do I mean by that is just stamping it onto another piece of paper. And then you, I can always come back and use that, but I don't want this to be really dark. So you can see it's a little bit lighter than that one. <clears throat> Alright, let's start getting this down. Okay, yeah, I'm happy with that. I think that's come out pretty nice. So the first thing I need to do is get this one glued down. And then I'm going to go ahead and get this one <coughs> glued. That's the hardest part about this is when you lay it out, it's getting it all back the way you wanted it. But it is worth taking the time to do that because in the past, I'd stick something down and then regret it later and you're trying to then go back and fix it. So it is worth just taking a little bit longer to do that. Okay, what else do we need to get down here? This is going to need to go. So I'm going to make sure I get <clears throat> this all placed. Yeah, okay, let me get that down. Okay, that's coming together nice. Now, this little bit up here. And our little stamp. And then we've got this little bird. <clears throat> so now I want 
to ink this up just a little bit. Yeah, I like the idea of that there. And then I'm going to actually just distress a little bit around the edges of this one. Okay. You could put that on some dimensional tape, but I'm not going to bother about it because mine's getting quite thick already. Okay, so let's just have, I'll give you a close-up, and let's just have another look at this and see if there's anything else we need to add to it. Yeah, I think I'm going to add this. This is uh, one of the little circle stamps. I'm just going to add that in that little corner just to kind of add a little bit more interest over there. And then I will be done with this. Yeah, that's, I think that needed that. Okay, so there, hopefully you guys can see. And let me just try to zoom in slightly. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So you can see, guys, that was very few supplies. Um, so what did we have? We had some images from a magazine. doesn't have to be Daphne's Diary. Um, I picked up an old magazine from... I don't know, the 90s the other day, they had gorgeous images in it. So it doesn't have to be these expensive magazines. We used some paper bag, or if you've got shipping paper from orders, you can use that. We had some washi tape. Uh, I know it's not always easy to get this, but there's a lot of places. Michael's, Hobby Lobby, Amazon, and it's inexpensive. And if you don't have it, you could take some masking tape and just stamp your own images on there. Uh, maybe I'll do that one day and we could... I need the stays on. That's the only thing I would say. Make sure you use a permanent ink because otherwise it's going to rub off. So you could make your own kind of washi tape. We had some stamps. These are very inexpensive. You can purchase these on eBay. And then we did some rubber stamping. And I think that was it. And I think that's come out as a really nice page. I enjoyed it. It wasn't stressful at all. And I think what I'll do is, um, is create another spread over here using the same kind of color scheme so that it'll all blend. But I'm very happy with that. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope this is... Um, encourage some of you to go ahead and grab yourself one of these little uh, sketchbooks. You can get them at the Dollar Tree or Michael's Hobby Lobby, 
and they're really inexpensive and just start playing around with it. Go on Pinterest, there's a lot of inspiration on there that you can find um, and, and just enjoy it. So I hope you uh, guys are all safe and well and I'll be back very soon. Take care. Bye.